welcome back. So in today's video we're going to be doing a more natural fall look. Um, the last couple of tutorials I've put up on Tutorial Tuesday have been really bold with like false lashes and very like not everyday wearable. They've had like smoked out lower lash line, a darker lip, bright and bold colors. So today I thought I would do a brown liner instead of black and no false lashes with a more natural neutral lip. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. For the rest of my face, I already applied my Smashbox Studio Skin Hydrating 15 Hour Wear Foundation in 2.2. And I applied my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in Medium. And then I just set that with my Laura Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder. And then I filled in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Medium Brown. So um, I primed my eyes with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And real quick, on my lips I'm wearing the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Brigitte, which is a peachy, like, pinky color. And I only put it on half of my lips before we started this, but as I zoom you in for the eye look, you'll probably be able to see the lip color more. Alright, so for the cheeks, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter, um, Instamark filter thing in Mirage Filter, and I'm using the dark color to contour. This is the IT Cosmetics Contour Brush, and I am just going to draw my line here. And then I'm going to try to blend it upwards just a little. And I'm taking that same brush, and I am doing it down the temples and up at the top of the forehead. Same, same brush down the side of the nose. Right beneath the lower lip. And underneath the chin. That whole jaw area for kind of a slimming effect. Okay, so that completes that step. Then I took the same brush and I used the yellow shade from this palette, which is kind of brightening, and I applied that right beneath the dark color. Just to kind of brighten the lower section. And then I'm just taking the brush with no additional product and just kind of making sure everything's rubbed out. Because this brush now has a little bit of a lighter shade on it, it's actually you know, able to harshen, uh, soften those harsh lines. Okay, so for the blush today, I'm using a Becca Mineral Blush in Songbird, which is a, like, peachy color. And I'm using this It Cosmetics, um, this is called the Highlight Brush. It's a duo brush. I actually just, um, got these from Ulta, so it's going to be in my haul coming up. But I barely tap the brush into it, and then I still tap off the excess because these blushes are too pigmented in my opinion. Then I'm just using this brush to kind of swirl the blush around on my cheek and it kind of doing that motion blends it with the contour makes them look more cohesive. Okay then I went in with my just a generic um, big powder brush and my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. And I'm just going over where I put the contour. This is just kind of giving it a little bit of a shimmery look. It gives my skin a pretty finish. And you're like, you're not sure what, what I've got on, but you know it's something like kind of glowy. And then I'm using an affordable highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Bronzer, but it's in Reserve Your Cabana. For that, I'm applying it with a, um, a duo fiber. Just a, It's actually like the size of an eyeshadow brush, but I use it for highlighter all the time. Because it's duo fiber, it's got a softer um, application. See, that's wet and wild, man. I'm pretty impressed myself. I just put it down the center of the nose, Cupid's bow, and chin. There we go. Okay, so for eyes, like I said, I already primed them, and now I'm going in with a bunch of Makeup Geek shadows. I've got a ton of brushes here, um, and we're going to recreate what I did on this side. So instead of your traditional like light color on the lid and then a dark color in the crease and the outer V, today I'm doing the halo-shaped eye look where 
it's a light color on the lid and then instead of just the dark color being on the outer V in the crease, it's actually all the way onto the inner corner as well. So it's almost as if the, only the center of the eyelid has that pop and that's gold um, with some warm browns. So I'm going to start out with the e.l.f. crease brush and I'm taking um, peach smoothie first and then creme brulee. This is peach smoothie and this one over here is creme brulee. And so first I start out with that brush and peach smoothie and I apply it pretty high, almost to the brow bone. Um, and then I use the same brush and I go in with creme brulee. Just, just a little bit deeper and I put that in the crease and just slightly above. I don't take creme brulee quite as high as I take peach smoothie. Alright, so for the lid shade today I'm using this one by Makeup Geek. This is glamorous. It's like a really pretty golden shade. Really pretty golden shade. And I'm, I'm taking that on the e.l.f. eyeshadow Elf Eyeshadow C brush, which is a flat, really dense brush. And I am just applying that to the lid. Then I'm taking the Jessup Short Shader brush, which is actually just like a mini version of the one I just used. Um, but I'm using um, Ice Queen and Shimma Shimma combined. These are just two like lighter colors. And I'm using those with that brush right underneath the brow bone and on the inner corner of the eye. This is just going to give the lifted effect to the brow and make the eyes look a little bit more open and awake slightly farther apart with the light. I'm also using Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear, which is just like Max Brown Script, and I'm applying that to the crease. This is a smudger brush. It's actually like a pencil brush or a crease brush. It's pretty dense. This is a no-name brand, otherwise I'd tell you who it was made by. And I'm going to draw the V at the outer eye. And then I'm going to swoop it into the crease. And then I'm going to take more of the color and I'm going to actually take it into the inner eye as well. So it's called the halo because it's like a little rounded thing above there. Now that's a pretty deep color, so I'm going to go back in with the brush I use with Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee and blend them out. So the focus isn't making a wing on this look necessarily. It's more about um, creating a rounded look. So now I'm blending out those edges. Then I went in with that same like domed tapered brush and I went in with color Mocha by Makeup Geek. Just, just a matte brown. Um, you could also use something like Embark from uh, MAC, which would be really pretty. But this is just adding that slightly less warm brown and more definition to the crease and the inner corner, outer corner area. Then once I lay that down, I go back in and blend, blend, blend. Go in with a um, flat, just a blending brush, and this is the color Chickadee. It makes a really pretty um, pop right here in the top of the transition color. Don't worry, I'm going to blend that out. And then I pop it right on the center of the lid. Basically on top of where I laid down the glamorous color. Now I take a, this is the blending, this is the brush that I use for my highlighter. So it's just like a, a dual fiber brush, and now I'm using that again up high because it has a little bit of that shimmery white but I don't mind because that can go on the brow bone no problem. I'm just blending out the edges. For liner I'm using the Kat Von D ink liner in Hemingway. This is a brown. Then I'm using this color. This is Chella Hello Beautiful Eyes Ivory Lace Highlighter. This is like a white pencil and I'm applying that to the lower waterline. Is it actually meant to be like an under the brow bone highlight? Like you could use it like that.
but I used it on the inner waterline. And then I'm going to apply this Makeup Forever Lab Shine Diamond Collection. This is a lip gloss. It's like a golden color, D16, diamond finish. Now I think it makes it a little bit more fall appropriate. Then I'm going to apply some of this Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. And I actually really like this mascara. Alright, so if you wanted to take this up a notch, you could definitely smoke out the lower lash line with some browns. Or that Cocoa Bear, the warm shadow, would be really pretty. Um, you could also wear it with a bolder lip. So those are just some ideas as to how you can make this a little bit more fall appropriate. But this is a great way to like transition into it and make it more wearable for daytime by using like brown liner, no false lashes, nothing on the lower lash line, and a more natural colored lip, li lip color. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.